if we want duality to end, we need to look at the nature of the subject. What do we believe or assume is going on between our ears? Why do we believe that there is someone inside the mind that is doing the seeing or hearing? Why do, believe, why do we believe that there is someone in there that is separate from the raw experience? Because there's not. It's just so obvious once you really look at it and just give it your time and attention to notice that there was just some sort of assumed belief that there was a subject there. There was never a separate subject there, ever. And this is why it's the end of duality. What is appearing and the source are one. There's not a separate subject that is looking at or experiencing appearances. The source and the appearance are the same thing. And when there's no separate subject, that means there's no other separate subjects. This alone is a massive healing. This alone is a massive expansion out of the contracted feeling of separation, which is so painful. It's so painful to believe that there is a self inside this head and there are selves inside of other heads. And now we're going to war and fight against each other based on our ideologies, our identities, our boxes, and our labels. That's where all suffering is. It's right there. And once you know clearly that there's no subject, you know that there's no other. There's only source with appearance as one everywhere. And that's you. You are not a separate self. You are everywhere and everything all at once. And therefore nowhere. And this is the ultimate healing. This is the ultimate realization, the ultimate love. And you can creatively express from that place in a holistic, beautiful, aesthetic, truthful, good way that you so deeply desire. But it can't come from trying to study concepts. It can't come from accumulation of knowledge. Truth, good, beauty, aesthetic, reality can only come from the dissolution of the subject. There is no one inside. This alone is such healing. The beauty of appearances without a separate subject the love that remains when all duality ends. The duality between a separate subject and objects of that subject. 
the duality between a self and others. The duality between the absolute and the relative. Between source and appearance. All those dualities go away. But it's all right there on that crux of there being a separate subject. Because there's not. If you look really good between your ears, you will find nothing. And that's freedom. That's freedom.